Hello and welcome to pretty much my first video on wedding planning and today we are trying on wedding dresses. Now in terms of wedding dresses, I really like simple kind of modern dresses. I don't know, I kind of want to go for a cool modern bride kind of vibe. The anti-bride Instagram is like my holy grail and initially I wanted like a very simple spaghetti strap dress with like a beaded topper on top of it but then I tried on a drape dress and I thought it was really pretty and now I'm leaning towards that one. So I don't know, I just want to try on more styles and I'm also not sure how I want to do my hair I don't know if I should keep it short or grow it out longer. I think I definitely want to leave it down I'm not really sure maybe half up half do but I tied it up in this video when I try on the dresses So let me know what you guys think I should do for the actual wedding But today we're trying on Azazi dresses and if you're not familiar with Azazi They have affordable special occasion dresses. So they have bridal dresses bridesmaid dresses mother of the groom or mother of the bride dresses and just general special occasion dresses. They are high quality and also have customizable sizing. And I actually wore one of their dresses when I was a bridesmaid in my brother's wedding, so I know they are very good quality, especially for the price. I especially love that their bridal dresses are so affordable because not everyone can spend thousands of dollars on a dress that they'll only wear for one day. They also have a wide selection of so many different types of dresses, and they have a wide selection of colors as well. You can also order swatches, order dresses in custom measurements at no extra cost, which is very convenient. And you can try on dresses and return them within 7 days for a small fee of about $15 for a wedding dress. Which is what I'm doing today. So thank you very much to Asazi for sponsoring this video and for sending me these dresses to try on for free today. I am so excited to try them and if you like any of these dresses, I definitely recommend checking them out and using my discount code for 5% off. I'm trying on three wedding dresses and I have some guest stars to try on three bridesmaid dresses today. So let's get started. Alright, so for my first wedding dress, I have on the Moonlight dress and this one is probably the closest to what I was looking for in terms of the draping style and something strapless. These straps actually come off so you can wear it either way with the straps or without. I'd probably personally wear it without just so I can dance more freely. There's boning all around the bodice that helps keep it up and give it a little structure to the dress. Light padding so you don't have to worry about what kind of bra to wear and it's also lined so you don't have to worry about it being see-through. So overall, it's such a really pretty dress and I love the asymmetrical draping of the fabric so much. I already know this is going to be one of my favorites. I also feel like it looks more expensive than it actually is because of the drape design. It looks like a high-end designer dress and I just really like this kind of style. So I really love this dress. Next, I wanted something on the more simpler side, so I got the Adana dress. And this dress is probably closer to what I initially wanted with a simple spaghetti strap satin dress. And I would probably add that beaded topper over it for a little extra something something. But it also looks beautiful as is. I was worried the fabric would feel cheap, but it actually feels very nice and it's also lined. This one also has boning on the sides only instead of all around the bodice. And it has light padding as well, so I really appreciate that built-in support. I also like that it doesn't have a leg slit. I would prefer no leg slit because I want to wear like giant heels because my fiance is a foot taller than me. So I quite like that. I also think having no slit kind of changes the shape of the dress and it makes the fabric hug my body more and accentuate my curves. So I really like that. I like this dress more than I thought I would because I was scared it would be a little too minimalistic but it's actually very flattering on me so I really like this one. Overall, it's a very nice dress. Finally, for my last wedding dress, I wanted to go with something a little more minimalistic and strapless, so I went with the Mari wedding dress. And so this dress also has boning, lining on the bodice, and padding as well, so it's nice to have that support and structure in all of these dresses. I do like the strapless look on me, but I think that I like the draped one better because I want a tiny bit more pizzazz. And also, you're able to add straps to this one as well if you don't like the strapless look. But this is a nice comfy stretch crepe material and it has a lace back which is also really pretty. I definitely like the back on this one. It's almost like this dress is a mix of the last two dresses. It has the minimalism of the Adana dress 
but the strapless shape and slit of the Moonlight dress. So it's the best of both worlds if you can't decide between those two. And overall, this is just a really great option for a more minimalistic wedding dress. And now I'm gonna have a couple of my bridesmaids come out to try on some bridesmaid dresses. So come on out, Nani. Just kidding, she's not here yet. Three days later. All right, so first we have Nani, who's my maid of honor. Um, we've been friends for like two months now. <laughs> All right, so first we have Nani, who's my maid of honor, and we've been friends for like almost a decade now. So, yeah, are you excited to be my wedding? Yeah. <laughs> Same. <laughs> Um, Alright. Yeah, but yeah, I'm super excited. I've uh, known them since they first started dating, so it's gonna be. <laughs> but it's been a long time coming, and we're all rooting for them, so. Me too. Alright, she chose the dress Alexia, which online I think it looked a lot darker and more brown, and this looks more like an orange pe pink color, mm -hmm. like a dark peach color, but I think it's really pretty still. I think it's one of my favorite colors out of the three surprise me dresses we got. Yeah. Yeah. I love the little bow detailing. Um, I like how they have boning on the side, so it gives a little bit of structure. Um, the slit's not too high, so that's great. And I love the fabric. It's very, very flowy. Yes. Yeah, it's really pretty. I like the style. Um, I'm about 5'5", five, 5'6". Five, five, um, it's a little long for me. Um, so I guess with heels, it should be maybe if they take an inch off. Um, I'd say if you're shorter than me, you definitely have to get it hemmed. Or if you're a little bit taller, then it should be a good length for you. Or you can use Azazi's custom sizing option and get it perfectly made for you. Wow, I didn't know they had <laughs> such a feature. Okay, so Jenny was supposed to be my second bridesmaid, you might have seen her in a previous video, but unfortunately she couldn't make it because she's sick, so I'm just going to try on the dresses that she picked out myself. So the first dress Jenny picked is the Adriana dress in Paprika. This ended up being more orange than I thought it would be, which is still a nice color, but I think the bronzer and cedar rose colors are more suited for the color palette I had in mind. And they have plenty other color options to choose from, so it's all good. But the style is really pretty. It's an A-line dress with off-the-shoulder sleeves and this kind of pleated bodice. It also has padding and boning for support, and it's a really pretty flowy chiffon material. I also think the back is super pretty and flattering. It's a very feminine style that definitely suits my bridesmaid Jenny, so I think it's a great choice if you're also into those flowy silhouettes and feminine romantic vibes. And finally, we have the Jess dress in the color bronzer. I think this dress is very flattering and a really pretty color. It's a very similar color to the Cedar Rose, but it's a little less pink. It's also a lot less heavy than the Adriana dress, which will be nice because the weather will probably be a bit warm for my wedding. This one does not have built-in padding, but it does have some boning for a bit of structure. I think it's also the same kind of satin material as the dress Nani tried on, so it's nice and flowy and comfortable. I like how simple the bodice is, it's very sleek and modern, and I think it would be flattering for a lot of different body types, so I think this one is also a really great choice for a bridesmaid. And again, these dresses come in a very wide selection of colors. Okay, so those were all the dresses for today. Overall, I thought they were all very beautiful. The material was quite nice, and I love that most of them had boning and padding and lining, and I just really appreciate that support built into the dress. I think it's really important for the structure of the dress and just for feeling comfortable on your wedding day, or any event for that matter. I definitely recommend checking them out for special occasions, even if you're gonna be a guest at a wedding or any kind of event. And I just really appreciate how affordable they are as well. I know the wedding industry can be insane expensive and they're high quality so you really get a bang for your buck. 
So if you're on a budget, I definitely recommend checking them out. Use my discount code for 5% off and I will link them down in the description box below. But with all that said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know which dresses you like the most. Let me know how I should do my hair on my wedding day. And let me know what videos you want to see in the future. And I'll see you guys next time.